In this video we are going to talk about top 10 best places to visit in Australia. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Australia is a dream country. According to armchair travelers as well as the hallowed legends of the aboriginal dreamtime, when the great spirits created the coral reefs, rainforests, and red deserts. Australia is approximately the same size as the United States, yet it has a population the size of New York State and some of the most bizarre animals on the planet. It is also the world's smallest continent and largest island. Australia is a country with astounding contrasts and breathtaking beauty. Explore thriving cities, enormous sand islands, historic rainforests, and one of the world's most amazing natural wonders, the Great Barrier Reef along the coast. The outback offers the height of adventure tourism with its untamed national parks and red-eared deserts. Add nice people and a laid-back atmosphere to the mix, and it's easy to see why Australia tops bucket lists all over the world. With our list of the greatest tourist destinations in Australia, you can plan your own travels. Number 10. Kakadu National Park, Northern Territory. Kakadu National Park showcases the best of Australia in terms of wilderness regions. It is the second largest national park in the world, stretching across more than 19,840 square kilometers in Australia's Northern Territory. Monsoon rainforests, mangrove swamps, rivers, gorges, prehistoric rock art, marshes, and waterfalls can all be found within its boundaries. Amazing wildlife diversity may be seen in Kakadu as well. More than 300 distinct bird species live here, along with other mammals, reptiles, and fish, and both freshwater and saltwater crocodiles lurk in the marshes. Take a ride along the canals or go hiking on the park's extensive network of trails to discover the park's different ecosystems. A picturesque flight is an additional option. Number 9. Kari, Fraser Island, Queensland. On the World Heritage List one of the most distinctive spots to visit in Australia is Kari, Fraser Island. This is the largest sand island in the world, and it is located between Bundaberg and Brisbane off the east coast of Australia. You can find here seemingly limitless expanses of sand and water, as well as awe-inspiring fauna, emerald jungles, turquoise lakes, rippling dunes, and turquoise skies. In search of a surge of adrenaline? One of Australia's greatest outdoor excursions is a 4WD trip along its surf-lashed shores. Shipwrecks with rusted hulls, colored sandstone cliffs known as the cathedrals, and boiling fish-filled rock pools known as champagne pools may all be seen along windswept 75-mile beach. Inland exploration is as thrilling. Highlights include ancient rainforests teeming with an astounding diversity of flora and animals, crystal-clear freshwater rivers and lakes, some fed by springs, others located amid towering sand dunes. Number 8. Daintree National Park, Queensland. Daintree National Park in far north Queensland is one of the planet's oldest ecosystems and is a wet tropics world heritage site. Numerous natural elements in the region have profound spiritual importance for the eastern Kuku Yalanji Aboriginal people. The park is divided into two main areas, Cape Tribulation, one of Australia's most picturesque tourist destinations, and Mossman Gorge, where crystal clear streams pour over granite boulders. Along the Coral Sea's white sand beaches, here, reef meets rainforest. One of the rare locations in the world where two of the planet's finest ecosystems converge is this gorgeous stretch of coast. More than 18,000 plant species and a wide variety of animal species such as the cassowary, crocodile, big blue Ulysses butterfly, and the elusive Bennett's tree kangaroo make up the park's incredible biodiversity. A wonderful place to organize wilderness safaris into the park is the resort town of Port Douglas, which is located just south of the park. Number 7. Bondi Beach, New South Wales. One of the most well-known beaches in the world may be found there thanks to the combination of tanned bodies, blonde sand, backpackers, and surf. Bondi Beach is a terrific place to see Sydney's beach culture and is about 15 minutes by car from the city centre. On a steamy summer day, soak up the sun on the golden dunes, surf the breakers, or cool off in the water, but stay between the flags. Few towns in the world can boast of having such a tempting stretch of sand and sea so close by. It makes sense that it's one of Sydney's top beaches. Bondi is home to one of the oldest surf life saving groups in the world, therefore you'll also find some history here. 
There are many things to do in Bondi besides the beach. Take a stroll along the beach path from Bondi to Bronte. It starts at the southernmost part of the beach and travels six beautiful kilometers along sandstone cliffs. If you get hungry after working up an appetite, there are many cafes and restaurants close by. You can swim several laps in the seaside pool or look for deals in the Sunday markets. Number 6. Melbourne's Culture, Victoria. Melbourne, the second largest city in Australia, is a well-liked destination on many itineraries through the country, particularly for culture vultures. The main attractions of this elegant city on the Yarra River are its galleries, theatres, restaurants, and boutiques, as well as its uniquely European vibe. Almost a third of the city is made up of parks, gardens, and other open spaces, making it a very green city. There are numerous cultural highlights in Melbourne. View a concert at Arts Centre Melbourne, peruse the masterpieces at the National Gallery of Victoria, or visit Federation Square. At the Australian Centre for the Moving Image, you can look through Australian artworks and learn about the country's screen culture, ACMI. Would you like to return to nature? At the Royal Botanic Gardens, go along the Aboriginal Heritage Walk. Number 5. Blue Mountains National Park, New South Wales. Beautiful Blue Mountains National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a hiker's paradise and a well-liked day excursion from Sydney. It is located 81 kilometers easily accessible west of the city. The name of this magnificent park, which safeguards more than 664,000 acres of wilderness, refers to the blue haze that comes from the numerous eucalyptus trees. Discover the stunning gorges, waterfalls, aboriginal rock art, and 140 kilometers of hiking trails during your trip here. The Three Sisters, a group of three enormous sandstone rock formations, are the Blue Mountains National Park's most well-known sites. Number 4. Sydney Harbour Bridge, New South Wales. One of Australia's most well-known architectural landmarks is the Sydney Harbour Bridge, along with the Opera House. The largest steel arch bridge in the world, this astounding engineering achievement is affectionately known as the Coat Hanger. A full 40 years before the Sydney Opera House, it was finished in 1932. A guided climb to the top of the bridge, where you can take in breathtaking views of the harbour and city, is one of the best things to do in Sydney. The 500-metre-long bridge, which connects Sydney's north shore to the financial sector, rises 134 metres over the harbour. Number 3. Ulurukata Juta National Park, Northern Territory. One of the most frequently captured natural wonders in Australia is Uluru, formerly Ayers Rock, which is located deep into the red centre. The spectacular red monolith serves as the focal point of the Lurokata Juta National Park, which is jointly managed by Parks Australia and the Yango people, the original owners of the land. The Uluru, which in local Aboriginal tongue means shadowy place, rises 348 meters above the plain below. Its bulk is largely submerged beneath the Earth's surface. The park also has the red dome-shaped rocks known as Kata Juta, the Olgas. Tourists congregate to observe how Uluru and Katachuta's colors change as the sun lowers in the sky. Joining a tour conducted by Aboriginal guides and rangers is a fantastic opportunity to appreciate these holy locations. Number 2. Great Barrier Reef Marine Park, Queensland. You must see the Great Barrier Reef before leaving Australia. One of the world's biggest living constructions, this natural wonder is a part of the World Heritage List. From space, you can see how big it is. It's a must-visit location for snorkelers, divers, island connoisseurs, and nature lovers. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park was created in 1975 to safeguard its delicate ecosystems. These comprise 600 continental islands, including the stunning Whitsunday Group, more than 3,000 coral reefs, 300 coral caves, and inshore mangrove islands. One of the seven natural wonders of the world, Queensland State Park spans 2,300 kilometers along Australia's east coast, or almost the distance between Mexico and Vancouver. Unsurprisingly, one of the best locations in Australia to go diving and snorkeling is the Great Barrier Reef. Number 1. Sydney Opera House, New South Wales. When you say Sydney, Australia, most people immediately picture the Opera House. 
One of the great architectural landmarks of the globe, this well-known structure on Sydney's Benelong Point is shaped like enormous shells or billowing sails. It is listed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. The setting is breathtaking. The Royal Botanic Gardens encircle the building to the south, and it has water on three sides. Jorn Utzon, a Danish architect, won an international design competition for it, however he pulled out of the project due to financial and technical issues. At a cost that was 10 times more than anticipated, construction was ultimately finished in 1973. By this point, Utzon had already departed the nation and would never again visit his spectacular invention. Today, you can attend a concert, eat in one of the establishments, or take a tour to explore the Sydney Opera House's top attractions. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.